I love it. And Christina, we're just three days away from April 8th, Great American Eclipse, as you mentioned. That's right, Connie. <laughs> and now science has come so far, we know exactly what causes that eclipse. And we've even got a pretty good understanding of when the next one will be. 2044 for the United States, if you were wondering. But have you ever wondered how ancient cultures understood solar eclipses? Meteorologist Alden German has been diving into the history books, and he joins us now. Christina and Connie, before modern science had a true understanding of what the solar eclipse is and how they work, ancient cultures had to form their own beliefs over what was happening during these events. This brief but awesome event is something that was very important in the ancient Islamic world. Here's how they viewed the eclipse. The Islamic world became the forefront of astronomy research in the 9th and 10th centuries. The work of the Greeks centuries earlier spread like wildfire and encouraged research of the stars. Eclipses played a significant role in their religion, too. In the 7th century, an eclipse occurred on January 27, 632. The prophet Muhammad was alive during this time, and the eclipse happened to coincide with the death of his son, Ibrahim. While many cultures at the time feared the eclipse of the sun and moon, Muhammad instead said that they were wonders to be admired, not feared, and proved the might and power of Allah the Great. 